So no, please don't tell the court that this is all a person requires. Six lakh sixteen thousand three hundred per month. Does anybody spend this much? A single lady for herself? Oh, if she wants to spend, let her earn. What is this? You don't have, you have no other responsibility of the family. You don't have to take care of the children. You want for yourself. You you say I want six lakh sixteen thousand. This is not true. I filed in calculation chart regarding yeah. expenditure. But no, what I request both of you is once the one one of you complete your argument. Then I request the other one to other advocate to advance the arguments. Do you understand? I, I said first you come once when she is arguing, yes, you don't uh, submit, and when you are arguing, let her not submit. Yes, yes. Well, what is that you have filed? So I have filed a detailed expenditure which is uh, uh, expecting. The May I start my law because my red petition is first, and I have got an interim order here by your lordship. No, no. So if limited, there are no arguments. The argument is over. Only Put facts. On that, let him say you can submit. Very yes. Good. My lord, uh, here in the where the lower court has completely never looked the income of the husband, wherein even the court has presumed, my lord, before that. Yes. Uh, no, we are uh, not going into all uh, that arguments. Yes. What I wanted to know is what are your expenditure? Yes. That you tell the court. Uh, I already heard all of your yes. So few enough. For the yes. petitioner, food expenses at a residence to meet the same standard of nutritious food which the respondent is having at home. She has not been provided with any food there. She has to manage. Forty thousand next. Yes, my lord. For the purpose of food, when the respondent com compelled to have food outside in few circumstances. Yes, next. My lord, for that and towards the clothes and dress, the respondent is using all the branded clothes wherein one Kelvin Klein T-shirt costs around ten thousand per shirt. And per trousers of the petitioner is also entitled for the same. Where in the present petitioner is using all the old dresses itself. Yes. My Lord, towards the accessories like bangles, sticker, chain, earnings, watches, sandals, slipper, etc. My Lord, which is the basic need. My Lord, towards it fifteen thousand per month. My Lord, towards yes. the medical expenses, cosmetics, and other expenses. My Lord, where in the petitioner is suffering with the knee joint pain and for which she needs to take the. Regular medication and physiotherapy treatment. Even she is suffering from high fever, tension, panic attack, for which she need to take regular treatment and medication. Due to the negligent act of the husband, she is not in a position to show it to a good doctor and good hospital for which, as per the at least uh, four to five lakhs is needed. And my lord, though the respondent is being my lord, that is I have it's a overall cost, my lord. I have bifurcated to a monthly wise well, so my lord, in the second column. Though the respondent is being the school fee, uh, paying the school fee and tuition fee to the children, he has completely neglected to look after the children, always being with him, with them as like a mother. At and due to the, which the petitioner is supposed to. If at least your client is not understanding, you should understand and you should advise her. Unnecessarily, that these kind of expenditures that they give, uh, the court gets an, uh, the, the, the 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 impression of the court would be something. What is this? Eight. Please tell the court. Every month, uh, sixty thousand. What she will do, my lord? Wherein, my lord? This is the humble request before the court. We leave to lordship to decide on this. Is it a belief? Should tell. Allah, Allah. Not about I. I will. It is like a bargaining. Like you will. You will give five lakh, six lakhs, sir, and the court will. Okay, let me give uh, one lakh uh, to the. Not the way. You should come before the court with the actual figures. What are all this? No, my lord. Wherein I categorically categorize that these are the needed. Uh, For the her commitment, my lord, and my lord, she is possessing with the loan also, wherein uh, she has to repay that. At that, I have produced the document also, gold loan, thondi ra dirbo do, other loan and other hand loans which she has managed and which is deposited to her bank statement by the mother. She want six lakh sixteen thousand three hundred per month per per month as uh, expenses. <coughs> uh, my lord, yes, yes, no, no, my humble submission before the honourable court with regarding that. Uh, the, the landmark judgment, wherein Supreme Court has held. Yes, please pass on. Yes. Yes. Well, in the first case, my lord, wherein it has clearly held that the maintenance, interim maintenance, and maintenance laws has. Come to the relevant pa paragraph, not the head note. Yes. Come ma'am. to the relevant paragraph. Yes, my lord. With regarding paragraph number, my lord, in the paragraph number A, my lord, my lord, which is uh, in the first page, my lord. 
head note let us not read it let's go to the order no oh, it has been elaborately given and it let's has been the order that is what is that is somebody editor's uh, uh, head note will not read uh, we'll this has been elaborately explained very in my lord in the landmark judgment where it has held but because of this judgment the asset and liability has begun in india that is compulsory made compulsory the purpose of making the each party to file an asset and liability because the maintenance amount will be awarded on the basis of the source of income no again this court will hear uh, another one or both of illa illa so aidha nimsham you have already argued that uh, that some account he has not given that all that you argued no no i am not that I, why my lord why trial court has erred in considering all those aspects the the maintenance amount which she was needed which has not been ordered you are talking you are relying on rajneesh versus neha yes, which speaks lord. about filing your assets and liabilities and uh, where did you comply where did you file before the trial court your expenses no i filed assets and liabilities but what you what are your expenses my lord where in i assets sought... and liabilities also includes your expenses yes my lord that i have stated where my... did you say for for which my lord i am stated in general my lord no where in asset when, and liability no my lord in asset sin liability you rely specifically on a judgment you should understand when you rely specifically on a judgment you should specifically follow that not generally la in asset sin liability my lord i have stated whatever information it is sought in the asset sin liability which which has been directed by supreme court let us see the judge let us see the judgments not where is that judgment that is for sunika not this uh, the issue of interim maintenance is decided on the basis of pleadings where some amount of guesswork or rough estimate takes place so as to make a prima facie assessment of the amount to be awarded it is often seen both parties submit scanty material do not disclose the correct details and suppress vital information which makes it difficult for the family courts to make an objective assessment for grant of interim maintenance while there is a tendency on the part of the wife to exaggerate her needs there is a corresponding tendency by the husband to conceal his actual income it has therefore become necessary to lay down a procedure to streamline the proceedings since a dependent wife who has no other source of income has to take recourse to borrowing from her parents relatives during the interregnum to sustain herself and the minor children till she begins receiving interim maintenance not the criteria for determining quantum of maintenance if you lord should read that in that it covers where is that the next uh, page my lord mm. uh, sub clause 3 that is uh, roman 3 my lord mm. permanent alimony next is criteria for determining quantum of maintenance that two paragraphs if you lord should read uh, it conveys the meaning man quantum of maintenance mm. the objective of granting interim permanent alimony is ensure that the dependent spouse is not reduced to destitution or vagrants on account of the failure of the marriage and not as a punishment to the other spouse there is no straight jacket formula for fixing the quantum of maintenance to be awarded the factors which would weigh with the court inter alia are the status of the parties the reasonable needs of the wife and dependent children whether the applicant is educated and professionally qualified whether the applicant has any independent source of income whether the income is sufficient to enable her to maintain the same standard of living as she was accustomed to in a matrimonial home whether the applicant was employed prior to her marriage to say a look so in this my lord the criteria is also important if she is qualified i have one more judgment which i will rely later my lord, the qualification when you have no very don't go for work question of the parents of the applicant family would not be material or determined so in so many it depend upon factual situations all the claims made in based on various factors before it so at par 84 the apex court has uh, referred to the delhi high court judgment it says status of the parties reasonable wants of the claimant reasonable wants of the claimant the independent income and property of the claimant the number of persons the non applicants has to maintain the amount should and aid the applicant to live in a similar lifestyle as she employed in the enjoyed in the matrimonial home these are all the things which you have to state that is what at uh, page number 84 no that and all my lord we have categorically stated that uh, what is the amount debt and what is the expenditure at present she is incurring 
and what is the amount she is expecting from the court with regarding to maintain her life in the same standard of life that her husband the ten dollar we have stated in the assets and liability mark in a detail we, we here we it has been categorically just we, she will not be given maintenance so what uh, basing on what the husband is getting and also other factor is not, what my, is her what is her requirement uh, her husband must be having uh, 10 crores of income uh, because he is getting court will grant 5 crores to her no it's about she has to tell what is her expenditure what is her requirement that you didn't even tell before the court except uh, giving a big figure of so and so there was no break what was the break up why what is that she wants never no when i asked you to give before this court if uh, this uh, uh, this expenditure that she gave before the court is simple reason and simple ground for this court uh, to dismiss your application my lord my humble submission before this honorable court Finally, look the operative portion, my lord. Wherein prior to it, the court has held. He has never stated a fair certain liability, but he has made a submission that he keeps a cash box at house, wherein she makes use of that fund. Wherein, hence the court held that she is not supposed to be uh, provided with any uh, expenditure with regarding because she is already taking from the cash box and for her personal income. Please understood when the court and asked you. Yes. Though it was not given before the trial court, the court asked you for this, uh, with, uh, with to consider to grant some amount to her. After looking at all the expenditure what she has placed before the court, uh, the court feels Allah, that you know no, nothing. My to be my granted. my humble submission, my lord. This court may not order this much, my lord. It to a reasonable amount, my lord. My why should submission. I do that exercise? Why should you tell all this? And why should I grant? Uh, why should the court grant reasonable amount? No, my lord. Uh, He, in order to show duty, the actual picture, my lord. There is a duty also. No, please don't tell the court that this is all a person requires six lakh sixteen thousand three hundred per month. Does anybody spend this much? A single lady for herself. Oh, if she wants to spend, let her earn. Not on the husband. My lord, any nominal amount. But I am telling you, if this is if if. On uh, if you want an order from the court, I want the actual figures, not this lakhs of figures. Will not grant. Or else I'll dismiss your application. Please tell your client. What is this? You don't have you have no other responsibility of the family. You don't have to take care of the children. You want for yourself. You you say I want six lakh sixteen thousand. That's not the purport of section twenty four. And it is not a punishment to the husband that if he is having a dispute uh, with wife to grant six lakh sixteen thousand, you should be reasonable in telling it. Not that I will tell some figure and the court it is for the court uh, to give some amount or the other. There was no reason for the court to even ask you to file it. I thought to, if you if you give the figure and if the court understands what's a requirement, uh, then we'll consider it. But not six lakh sixteen thousand three hundred, a single lady. Without the responsibility of the of the kids, just to take them for a holiday, take them for a for a lunch, you you require six lakh sixteen thousand. At least, how I am I'm really surprised how she could she could give all these headings. I think even in that Rajesh versus Neha, nobody knows that these many headings will be available. Very strange. Final opportunity for you. Come up with. A reasonable thing, reasonable. I'm again telling you, if it is like this kind of a thing, straight away we'll dismiss it. My Lord, may I submit? Yes. If your Lord should be see even the legal expenses, fifty thousand rupees per month for the lawyer, how it is even even acceptable, my Lord, to increase the bill, bloat a big figure so that they'll get. Now one more thing, my Lord, only one uh, opportunity, your Lord should be kindly give me. I'm uh, filing one memo where. Sixty-three lakh rupees is in circulation in shares in their own bank statements with page numbers. I'm giving it. Which bank statements? I'm, I'll, uh, I'll give them a copy. Uh, Let them also. You do one thing. Yes. You sir. do one thing. Just don't give it like that. Please. Basing on an affidavit, you file it. 
please and let them respond please no, we will will send a, a loud and clear message to all the litigants uh, yes who wants to explore exploit uh, you know the process of the court this is exploitation sir. this is an exploitation my lord there Everything is no is there, doing. Sir, i'm 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 ready to file one more affidavit also with regarding no. there is no earning has been raised earned out of shares and it is the false submission they are making again and again no, i will file so with an affidavit it will, it will no. reflect in, it will reflect in the bank's formula let us show a single rupee profit i have earned oh. then you please file an affidavit affidavit i have disclosed it not such a liability now with that she will file an affidavit my lord you file an affidavit i will file i decide it my lord i have filed the entire document my lord i have never surprised but again they filed they filed and filed an false affidavit. submission my lord they, they did not find the true uh, picture my lord the land count the, as for the orders passed for this court the expenditure passed yes my lord that is the expenditure anticipated by this court my lord that is we that the petitioner expecting from this court that is not the incurred so far there is no anticipation the provision is for her actual for her requirements yes my lord court will not court is no, not that, here that to that is towards uh, the needed amount my lord that huh? is not the actually she has spent so far that is the amount which she is seeking the from the law court. says so that you should uh, in anticipation of something you should uh, ask for uh, maintenance allah allah my lord that much capacity she is not having it present that is why we have filed that application she is needed of that amount and she has been forced to if you if you want to stick to the same ground uh, we have to pass orders ala which she is expecting from this come up, come up with uh, appropriate uh, affidavit then we will see much please pose this matter on 9th of september